there guys welcome back to another video and as always if you're new here please hit that little subscribe button and the notification bell to keep up to date with all my videos so before we get started on today's topic I just want to say I hope you're all enjoying the new video format figured what the hell I'll try something new a little bit different spice it up a bit so let me know if you're enjoying these kind of videos because I'm just experimenting with the style at the minute see if I can get some more subscribers and some views and all that good stuff when you're trying to grow a channel so, if you're watching and you haven't, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and uh, you'll see a grown man do this. Yes! Because every time I get a subscriber, I kind of jump out of my skin a little bit and go, yes, yes, yes! Because when you're a small channel, you notice every little subscriber. So, all the people who've subscribed so far, I appreciate you all. So, you guys fucking rock. I don't know if I'm allowed to swear, but I'm gonna fuck it. You guys fucking rock for subscribing so boom so anyway let's get on with the topic see I like this video format because I just get to speak on topics that I want to speak about that usually I would have to do a whole elaborate setup but this one I kind of just show you the article and we talk about it so I quite like this format so I found this interesting article on bloody disgusting so it says Empire Pictures lovable creature feature ghoulies just turned 35 this year a film that went on spawn for a movie a four movie franchise that ended with 1994's Ghoulies 4. That means we haven't seen or heard from the franchise in over 25 years, but the original creators are now determined to bring back the tiny rubber monsters back to life. Director slash co-writer Luca Barada, but I can't read that, so I'm not gonna pretend that I can. So you guys can uh, fill that one in yourself. And producer, co-writer Jeff, Jeffrey Levy, are asking rights holders Sony Pictures to allow them to reboot the Ghoulies franchise with a brand new movie. And there's a petition here that we can sign to get a brand new Ghoulies movie. So yeah, basically they're just drumming up promotion, it seems here, yeah, to try and get a Ghoulies reboot off the ground. And I mean, I for one would like to see a Ghoulies remake because Ghoulies is one of those films, like the iconic image of the Ghoulie popping out of the toilet. I mean, everybody who's into 80s horror knows that one. You know, even when I hadn't seen Ghoulies and I'd seen it in video shop, I'd seen that image of the thing popping out of the toilet. So yeah, I mean, just like everything else, they're trying to get a reboot. And what do I think about it? Yeah, I'd like to see a Ghoulies reboot, why not? The green little man coming out of a toilet and that woman with big tongue. <laughs> why not? I think it could be interesting. But then again, I can see the point of view that some people would have like, oh no, here's another reboot kind of a thing. Because every time a new reboot comes out, people are like, why can't they just leave it in the past? And then there's people like me who like to see old franchises get rebooted and stuff. Because, I don't know, it's kind of just like a comfort watching it. You like to watch the things you know. And when they reboot something, it's just fun to go and watch it like the new Halloween. Did they need to make that? No. Did it turn out good? Hell yeah, it did. So it's good to sometimes just remake stuff and reinvent it. See if you can add a little bit of new life into it. So yeah, I mean, I think Ghoulies is a risk like a risk worth taking just to see if the new one would be any good so yeah i mean i'd be all on board for a, a ghoulies reboot i mean there's a couple of things that i wouldn't mind seeing a reboot or a sequel to i think phantasm would be a good one to reboot in this day and age but you'd have a, a hard time finding a tall man because angus scrim is so iconic as a tall man so it'd be hard to replace that it's kind of like freddy krueger where you can't really replace the actor without really noticing it because that Nightmare on Elm Street reboot was fucking <laughs> So yeah, I think you'd be same the same thing with the tall man. Like you can't really replace Angus Scrim, so you'd have a hard time, but I'd like to see him try to make a new phantasm. Boy And then I'd like to see the Killer Clowns from Outer Space sequel that's been going on for years and years and years. They're trying to get that off the ground, but it never gets anywhere, which is rubbish. But yeah, I'd like to see that eventually get off the ground because who wouldn't want to see another killer clowns from outer space? I mean, come on. So yeah, I'm all on board for this Ghoulies reboot. So everybody who's watching this video, if you've not gone and signed it, I'll put the link in the description and you can go and sign this petition. I've signed it already. So yeah, let's try and get another Ghoulies, which should be fun. It's always fun to have some 80s horror icons come back. And you never know. In the near future, there could be a Ghoulie popping out of your toilet. <coughs> So anyways guys, this was just a quick video talking about the Ghoulies reboot. If you like this video, don't forget to like it. And if you're not subscribed already, then please, please subscribe. It means uh, the world to me, trying to grow my channel. So give me some love if you enjoy these videos. Subscribe and I'll be back with another video soon.